Hey everybody and welcome to John Plays Games. Now, when you clicked on this video, I'm sure you immediately feel like something is weird and strange and uncomfortable and you probably don't like it. Um, that's for a couple reasons. Um, this is Star Fox Event Horizon. It is a fan-made Star Fox game. Uh, it's not actually done yet. Uh, we're gonna play a demo for it. But, uh, I've been feeling well the past few days and so I wanted to do just kind of a simple, easy let's play just at my computer, um, which is actually something I've never done before. I've never done a PC game let's play, because I'm definitely not a PC gamer, um, and I really don't have a computer to support those sort of things. Uh, so, that's what we're doing. Um, like I said, it's a fan-made Star Fox game, runs on the Free Space 2 engine, uh, completely non-profit, so, you know, hasn't obviously run into any problems with Nintendo doing the whole cease and desist thing that they love to do with these sort of fan projects. Um, but this game is pretty cool. I fiddled around with it a little bit. Um, just a disclaimer off the bat, once again, I've never done a PC Let's Play before. The setup is, of course, obviously different, as any of you who do Let's Plays know. Um, and I don't have quite as good a... I don't have it figured out as far as how to really do it yet on PC. So... Sort of my first time doing one of these. Um, hopefully everything looks and sounds decently to you guys. Um, hopefully my bitrate is high enough on the video. That's kind of been the main concern is having a high bitrate but also keeping my frame rate up. And I am not a PC gamer, guys. If you guys are PC gamers, I mean, more power to you. I am not one of those. Um, so the cool thing, this guy has done or guys, or people, I haven't been able to find, like, their website doesn't really tell me how many people worked on this game, um, but they have all of these, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, I'm sick, they have a bunch of different R-Wings, so, like, they have, like, here's, um, like, the original R-Wing from the very first Star Fox game, which is awesome, and it, it looks like it's based on, like, the cover art from the game, or, like, the instruction manual, like, the model ship, which is awesome, um, and then he has, and then they have, like, each different R-Wing, so, like, here's, like, the Star Fox 64 R-Wing, um, and that is, like, a custom-made R-Wing, so there are a few, like, modified ones, here's the Star Fox Adventures R-Wing, um, and then the Star Fox Assault R-Wing, um, and they all look awesome, because, of course, they're in HD and all that stuff. Um, and my computer isn't, you know, like I said, not a gaming computer, so I'm not even running this at, like, the highest possible graphical fidelity. Um, and it still looks great. Um, he has, like, the Blue Marine on here. Um, there's, like, a Cloud Runner thing with Crystal on it. Uh, what other thing on here is somewhat familiar? Um, there's, like, a altered, like, flying version of the Landmaster, which weirdly looks a lot like the Landmaster that's in, uh, Star Fox Zero. Uh, it's, he, they can read the future. Um, and then, yeah, there's some Wolfins, um, some Venom ships, though that one I don't think is actually in any of the games. Um, but yeah, so just a ton of different things that are in this game, and it's awesome. Anyway, to actually get to the game, um, he doesn't have, like, a full campaign laid out yet. Um, if you just click the campaign button, then you get taken to a basic tutorial. Um, but he has a bunch of missions in here, um... I should note that since my computer is not a gaming computer, it may crash literally at any moment while trying to play this. Um, so that's not to reflect badly on the game itself, but it it's really is just my computer. Whoop. Cutscene. Dramatic cutscene. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the star rodent Fox and his intrepid crew through rubble. It would appear that the fleet was, as they say, decimated. Oh, we're in Sector Z. You guys see the subtle Z? I keep forgetting where my camera is in this setup. I like look over at my feed and I'm like, where is? Where do I need to look to find it? There it is. Mounted on top of the monitor. Of this monitor. Not this monitor. Okay, so we're playing a game. Uh, you got Center Falco, you go left, Slippy right, Mew below. So one of the cool things about this game uses characters from, like, the obscure Star Fox games. Like, Miu is from Star Fox 2. So you can tell that whoever made this game really, 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 really likes Star Fox. Or at least hung out on the Star Fox wiki 
an awful lot. Let's accelerate, shall we? Into the rubble. Got lasers. Oh, I want to switch to my uh, charge laser for my secondary weapon. Oh. What is it? What could it be? No one knows for sure. But I think it's the Aperoids. Oh, and they've, effect they've infected the ship. You guys see the danger that ship is in? Alright. I'm gonna go take down that ship. Accelerate. Attack speed. Pew, 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 pew. Watch out. Jeez, Falco, Slippy, whoever that was. I'm gonna assume it was Slippy. Was that you, Slippy? You jerkwad. And get clear so they don't shoot you. Okay, perfect. Did that without taking damage. I'll be honest, I did a practice run of this one before, and I, uh, my weapons got knocked out, and so I was useless for the rest of the level, as decimace, decimation was wrought upon my team as I hid in the corner. Die, Aperoids! Oh, jeez. I got fired, Ipun. Ooh, it blew up! Ooh, I'm caught in the blast! Mmm, that's not where I wanted to be at all. Okay, we're still at 70, 78 hull integrity. Our weapon systems are fine. Everything's fine here now. How are you? Uh, okay. Let's go take out this cruiser here. Great Fox is decimating the cruiser with guns. We're just gonna... Ooh, jeez. Ooh, we took a lot of damage there. We're gonna just... <laughs> we're gonna hide behind Great Fox. Um, and Great Fox will protect us from the danger. Target down? Well, good job, Crystal, Peppy, whoever that was. Nice job with the cannons, Crystal. It was apparently Crystal. Well... They saved. I'll just go land back at the ship. I shouldn't go into a cutscene like that. It might keep going, and I might take damage. We've got a signal ahead, similar to the Aperoids we've encountered. I think they might have set up a nest. Give the Great Fox cover while we move through the field to check it out. Okie doke. It's great music. Whee! Okay. Accelerate. Whoop, there's a bad guy. We should fight the bad guy. Oh, never mind. Great Fox is just destroying him. Who's next, I guess? Where are you at? There you are. Jeez, would you guys mind if I got to the bad guys before you completely annihilated them? It'd be great. Woo! Woo! And, oh, did he get blown up before I could get a lock on him? Boom! Suck it! Suck it, 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 suck it. Get a little distance. Regain a little hull integrity. Don't want to drop too low. Or else they will knock out your weapons. Like the jerks those aperoids are. Ooh! Did you just run into somebody there? Peppy, Valco, Slippy, Mew, whatever you are? Because Peppy's in the Great Fox, and I think Crystal is too. Uh, ah. You. Boom. Come here. Come here. You little aperoid bugger. There we go. Ah ha 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 ha. Uh! I am caught between an explosion and another explosion. Are you blowing up? Yes, you are. Pull up. Watch out for that rubble. Okay. Where are you at? There you are. I don't want to hit Great Fox. Stop hiding. There we go. Pew, 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 pew. I missed you every time. That's okay. Come here. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. Let's go catch up with Great Fox a little bit. <coughs> 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 Alright.
right, and down you go! Oh no, it's a secret basey thing or something. Aperoid nest, that's that's what I said, secret basey thing. Oh jeez, get out of there, get out of there. Hull integrity is somewhat low. But our weapons are okay. That's all that really matters. Just get clear, and we'll be okay. Where's the great fox? Yeah, okay, you, you, you do your thing, great fox. Why are you guys shooting at me? There's a giant ship over there just destroying you. And you choose, you see that me as the biggest threat? Really? Go pick on Slippy. He is ripe for the picking on. I am not your biggest threat right now. Leave me alone, you buggers. Ah! Back off, back off, back off. Leave me alone. Okay, just stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna blow you up. I'm gonna blow you up. I swear I'm gonna blow you up. Die! Die! Next mission. We have a bunch of like work in progress levels, so I'm gonna see uh, which one of these we can do. Let's try the Bolsa of Defense. Ooh, this is from uh, Star Fox 64. Let's try this. See what this has to offer. I think these are these levels that aren't done yet. I'm pretty sure they just kind of go indefinitely. Um, it's more like a test of the environment, if I'm correct. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's what these are. So we'll just kind of play them for a while, see what the environment has to offer, and then move on. It'll be fun. It'll be a fun time we'll have together. All right. Here we are. Ooh, we have like a special custom made our wing for this level. I got giant wings. Okay, so you may recognize this guy from the end of Star Fox 64. Um, one of the the second place you'll fight uh, Star Wolf if you go the mission complete route. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's just like Star Fox 64. See, there's guys with shield generators. You got a little thing in the middle that would shoot out enemies. And uh, then you'd have to fly around here, taking out these things. I don't know if I can actually... It doesn't look like I can actually take them out in here. But yeah, that's cool. Cool recreation of that spot. Let's go uh, fight some some Venomians. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, we'll just dive right into the center. That seems like a really good idea, and I'm totally for it. Die! I need to lock on to, like, literally any of these guys. There we go. I think I got to lock on one. Oop, I need to get clear of this guy. Uh, okay, we're good. Uh, uh, I'm getting hit by all the things. I am being hit by all of the things in the world. Boop. Boom. Get out of there. Ah, uh, get off my butt. Okay. Oh, you guys are over here? Great Fox. What are you doing? Do I even fit in the Great Fox's landing ports with these giant wings? Let's find out. Whoa, that guy is really getting friendly with the fox there. Just uh, kind of moving in. Jeez, man. Give him some room. Peace. Some people. Some people's spaceships. Yeah, let me see. I want to see if I can fit into the back of this. I know this is what you all came here to see, is me testing the logistics of this fan-made ship into the actual Great Fox. Okay. Gotta line it up. Ready? Ready? Okay, slow it down. Okay, we're good. We're good. Coming in. Rotate a little bit. Rotate a little bit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, maybe we'll fit. Maybe we'll fit. I don't feel like we fit. I feel like my wings are definitely going through the walls. Oh, I'm bouncing off. Help, help, help. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Get out of there. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. I'm slightly inside the ship, but that's okay. Ooh, Venom looks awesome. That is some nice art for Venom. I like it. Bang, 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 we're good. We're just weaving. We're just weaving through, trying not to die. Trying not to die. 
Oh, geez. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hull integrity, 6%. 3%. Far more than anyone really needs. Um, we're fine. Everything's totally fine. We landed at a nice 3%, and we're already recharging. So, um, you know, no harm, no foul. Or at least, you know, only, um... Only 97% harm, no foul. Cloud Runner Fortress? Let's try that. Ooh, Star Fox. Oh, Star Fox Adventures, Great Fox. Yes. Oh, jeez. That just straight up got blown up. I guess we should probably help. We are coming to the rescue. Oh, and those are totally sharp claw ships. Like the one that drops off Tricky. That's awesome. Die. They're very easy to hit. I like it. I like things that are easy for me to hit. None of them tiny, fast little buggers. Hey, don't you accelerate away. I am talking to you. You get back here right now, young man. You come back here. Die, 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 Come here. You're going down. There's no point in avoiding the inevitable. It is going to happen. You are going to blow up. And there's just nothing you can do about it. Oh my goodness. The, the last one was so easy, and you were putting up such a fight. I'm really just upset about it. There, have a smart bomb. How do you feel now? Ha ha! Oh no, I'm being shot at! Who could have guessed? Was that just a straight up cloud runner? Look at him go! Get him! Get him! Yeah, he's a beast. Didn't even have to flap his wings. He's just a boss like that. Let's go look at the buildings. What do we got over here? Got some nice crystals. Got crystals in there. I've crashed the game. I crashed the game by flying to the buildings. Oops. So I'm going to do one... Uh, I want to give you an idea real quick of the actual campaign that's in development for this. Alright, so in this we're not kind of our regular Star Fox selves. We're like soldiers in the Cornarian army. Um, We've got a big old fight going on between Andros's army and the Cornarian army. It looks really cool. Like, visually, this stuff is incredible. Um, it reminds me of the stuff at the beginning of Star Fox Assault. Uh, where you have the, all the Cornarian ships fighting against Andros's ships. And we get this cool little cinematic here at the beginning of all of us launching out of the launch bay here. And away we go. To confront Andros's forces. Let's real quick... Oh, boy. Ooh, take out this guy. He's just camping right out front of our ship. Die. Yeah, that's what you get. I'm gonna see the ship we came out of. So this looks um, an awful lot like uh, like the ship. It's like a combination of the ship from Star Fox Assault and uh, and the version of the Great Fox that's in uh, Star Fox 2, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna lock onto this guy. Take him out real quick. Boom, 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 Come here. I feel like I've hit you a lot. I feel like you should be dead by now. There we go. Oh, are you not dead yet? You had a little explosion, and I thought you were, uh, I thought you were done. There we go. There's a bunch of missiles. Can I, like, shoot those down or anything? Defend my ship from the missiles? Oh, am I doing that, or are they doing that? I have no idea. Maybe I should just keep doing it, just in case I'm contributing in some way to the protection of the ship. Did I, was that one of mine? I don't know if that guy was on my side, or who I just shot down. Where's the bad guys? Hello, bad guys! Jeez! I'm gonna fight the actual fighters here. Okay, there's a bad guy. Whoa, he's way out here. What are you doing way out here? Come on back to the fight, buddy. Okay, I'll show you the way. Toward my lasers. Come toward the sound of my lasers. Well, you tried. Okay, this guy. Ooh, they are just destroying. Maybe I should take a few shots at this guy. Nope, nope, we're going to take out this guy first. Die! Oops, I accidentally opened up my communications window because I missed the slow down button and hit a different button. Once again, not good at PC games. Are you about to blow up? 
I just heard like a thing and I saw a blast warning. Boom! Suck it! Oh boy. Oh, my hull integrity is very low. Very low indeed. I need to escape to safety. I don't think my hull integrity recharges when I'm playing the actual campaign missions. Um, which really accentuates the fact that I am bad at this game. And I was killed. It looks like we scared him off. I think I was winning. I think I may have won as I was getting a game over, which is what we'll assume. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to do for this video. If you liked this game, if you're curious, if you want to see more, just let me know and I'll do more videos of it. Um, but I just thought we'd take a moment to give some of the Star Fox com fan community some love. And so, once again, this is Star Fox Event Horizon. Uh, the demo is totally free. Um, you can play it, and I'm sure your computer will run a lot better than mine did, assuming you're not trying to capture it or if you actually have a semi-decent computer. So, uh, subscribe to Nintendo World Report TV for lots of other Star Fox coverage. Uh, I'm doing, I'm playing Star Fox games constantly every week until the release of Star Fox Zero on April 22nd, I believe, now is the date we have. I'm actually recording this, interestingly enough, on November 20th, which was the original release date of Star Fox Zero. So, um, that's sad. That's sad. I'm doing this in t instead of playing Mario Tennis, because I refuse to do that. There's no way I'm doing that. Anyway, you can also check out NintendoWorldReport.com for lots more... Uh, awesome Nintendo coverage of all things Star Fox, Zelda, Xenoblade, whatever you want to find. It's all there. It's best best Nintendo site you ever gon you're ever gonna see. And uh, and you should come hang out with us. Thanks you very much for watching. Sorry, I can't talk. I am ill. <laughs> and uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.